Lady Camel owner or simply an adoring camel fan, you're in the right place for some fun, useful and interesting camel talk. This is the Camel Connection Podcast. We're your hosts, I'm Tara. And I'm Russell. Join us here for fun learning about camels, how to care for, train and handle them, plus insider stories and interviews. And also some interesting stories of our lifestyle with camels, the good, the bad, the ugly and the very funny. Make sure you've subscribed now so you don't miss out on an episode. podcasts are an audio take of our video so be sure to check those out on our blog for lots of how-to visuals and of course lots of camels this is your one and only go-to podcast all about camels Hello again. It's Russell here. And Tara. Okay, and we've got a great topic for you today on our Camel Connection You know podcast. you say that every time. Well, it is. I do suspect that every podcast episode is great. Well, <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I agree, and many people do, so. You know, that's true. Yeah, there's that's a lot true. of people listen to this, so that's really good. Don't forget that if you are enjoying these podcast episodes and our podcast in general please leave feedback for us wherever mm. you're listening to this whether it be on youtube whether it be on facebook or whether it be on the itunes podcast yep. if you are listening on the itunes podcast leave us a review because i mean we're the only camel podcast out there so if you oh. put a review in we will be the number one camel podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no one else. Um, anyway, we'd love to hear your feedback nonetheless and hear how valuable you find these. Um, and, of course, I think in the last episode we said that if you have any topics that you'd like us oh, to cover to reach out to us. Yeah, um, yeah You definitely. can email us, hello at camelconnection.com or you can... Hang on, say that again. Hello at camelconnection.com. Right. Um... Or you can just let us know in the comments wherever you're listening to. Yeah, by all means. I mean, you know, we'd like to know what you want to know. Well, we're doing this for you. And I mean, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. What's so, the point? Yeah, you tell us. Camel lovers and unite. We will come up with the goods. Yeah, well, as always. Okay. So today's topic dun, 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 dun. five enjoyable things your camel will love. Oh, that was almost. Radio. Cool. <laughs> Almost radio. <laughs> cool. Okay, so yeah, look, I mean, you know, as you've been working with your camel, hopefully, and, uh, you know, you've been doing some things, or you've just purchased a camel, or you've just somehow obtained a camel, I mean, you know, everyone's got a story. Mm. Everyone's got a story. But mostly people just want to, um, you know, do enjoyable things with their camels. Yeah, I mean, so what is it that camels love? Mm. Uh, what, what is do it? They love? What do I they mean, love? we can assume that, like, I, I would say the first assum- assumption of people would go, "Oh, my camel loves to be fed." Yeah, yeah that was my first thought too. And that's it's, it's quite just a, a human camel right. It's a, it's a camel. <laughs> it's a camel right. It's oh, a basic yeah, camel right, as I said in the last podcast. Um, yeah, and it, it's true. They do enjoy being fed. Of course, they do. Mm. But. What we're talking about or what we're trying to focus on here in this particular episode is how you can do things with your camels that they're going to enjoy your company. Um, And one thing that we've covered in a previous podcast episode, probably something like, I think it was the treat training one, so you can scroll through and have a look at that, and what how a camel actually thinks when you're feeding them um, or treating them. You know, they're not thinking about you and your relationship between them they're thinking about that delicious something that they're going to grab hold of and enjoy thoroughly so what we want to do is expand beyond food um, is that things that you can do that you can not only build relationship with your camels but your camels are going to enjoy doing this with you that's it and do you know how that came about which oh everything that you just said uh no from my head uh, because I had it on my list. As one of the five things. Yeah, which they do love. 
Of course, but it's just a ride. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you had that as, as one of the things. Yeah. And I, I did mention, I said, look, I... But let's keep it separate. I, I think we should keep it separate yeah. because feeding a camel is not about building relationships with camels. Yeah. Treating camels is not a relationship building exercise. Mm. It is a basic human, basic human camel right. That's a right. basic <laughs> camel right. All camels deserve to be fed. Yeah. Um, We've got rights. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it's the same. I mean, we have the same philosophy with our children. We don't treat them when they do things good. I mean, no. with food per se, it's more no. of devices. Yeah, you open like up that. your mouth and swallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, it's just, jelly bean. it's just. I think food is a basic what, human. It's a basic camel. It's a basic animal, right? Yeah. You know, everyone deserves to eat. And they deserve the best that you can get. Exactly. Yeah. So, Which actually brings to a little point before we really dive into this topic about food and things like that. Uh, look, this is actually a podcast within itself. So I'm just giving you a little an episode, teaser, really. Um, you know, a lot of people ask the questions about, uh, you know, what type of food, you know, and of course there's the issues of um, what sort of minerals um, are in the soil, therefore the feed, um, all that sort of stuff, especially talking about things like selenium, uh, stuff like that. Recently, um, what we've done, um, oh, well, not recently, we do this quite periodically, quite, quite regularly, um, is we give the camels in their feed a preparation called anatone, mm-hmm. A-N-I-T-O-N-E. It's, I think it's only available in Australia, not the States. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, it's there a is preparation. Similar products. There's probably a similar product, but uh, it's uh, it's developed in the UAE for camels. and uh, For racing camels, for actually. For racing camels, yeah. But it's got the minerals in it, you know, when you look down the list, it's quite extensive. So, um, yeah, just a little sideline of thinking about... Uh, we feeding. mentioned that in our Camel Husbandry ebook. We actually go through all the minerals that are necessary mm. for the camels, how to mix and find the minerals, um, and this the amazing miracle juice of anatone and how yeah. it. I've we've seen camels come back to life from it, basically. Pretty much, yeah. um, So, amazing. Anyway, you can get your hands on our ebook over at camelconnection.com forward slash shop, so you can just visit our shop there. I think it's only about twenty four ninety five. so it's Top a life. perfect investment yeah. for learning about camel about husbandry yeah. so yeah. you no, can go ahead and get that but otherwise we'll dive in dive in okay so look you know exactly what we're doing with you um we me? love well, oh. well you as <laughs> you well looked at you me. Know. uh yeah and uh, everyone who's listening you know it's talking uh now i have oh this is number one this is number one now i've been looking at the list and uh, and it was actually right down the bottom, but I'm putting it up. Okay, up the so top. we're going in order. I'm going to go up the top. That's uh, good. To idea. the number one thing that uh, I reckon that camels love is you just talking to them. Mm. Um, look, I have been with people who uh, in in the camel journey, of course. You know, everyone meets up with uh, you know various people, and you take what uh, information you can from you know various sources, of course. And, yeah, there was one particular person uh, that uh, said, uh, no, I just give commands. I don't talk to them. I just give commands. And that's definitely a working camel. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, that, that was that purpose. But for me and my purpose and, uh, you know, our camels, um, I think talking with them is just delightful. Well, I would say that a lot of people listening who have been listening to this podcast or are listening, they want to build a relationship with the animal. Yeah. This is the Camel That's Connection the podcast. Why. You know? That's right, exactly. And talking with your camel, I mean, it can be just all sorts of things. As if, you know, the, the camel is talking back to you. You know, it's just like talking with yourself. They're very good listeners. <laughs> They're great listeners. But the amazing part is, is that over the years, I reckon, I really do think that, you know, the camels who I do the most talking to actually understand what I'm saying. Hmm. And when it comes time for instructions and whatnot, then they just follow. It, yeah, it's a tone thing. And um, I noticed that they, they want to be around you when you're talking gently and calmly yeah. and stuff like that. But if a moment comes where they are, you know, doing something that's out of line or out of character for them and they're not, you know, and not a new camel, freshly trained camel, and you raise your voice, that's all you have to do is raise your voice. Yeah. Like you don't have to go into any sort of physical reprimand or no. anything. It's just raise your voice. And they're like, oh, oh my God, I've never oh, heard this before. And that's after a period of time of yeah. working and talking yeah. with your camel. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I just find it so invaluable. And uh, like, I mean, we, we always pick on Jack, poor old Jack, you know, he, he cops a lot. But he is our lead 
uh, of the string of camels for our camel tracking. So he gets a lot of talking. He too. gets <laughs> all the talking to him under the sun, and I like to talk to the animals. I mean, look, even when I was by myself um, uh, up in Arnhem Land, uh, when I lived up there with the Aboriginal people, I used to quite often go onto a beach just by myself, and I'd be gabbling away to myself. That um, doesn't surprise me. It doesn't. No, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> you do a lot it to yourself <laughs> around here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you <laughs> saying? Yeah, these grumpy old men that are walking around the place. Um, but, uh, yeah, talking with Jack, of course, tracking, I mean, all the time, you know, and singing songs and, uh, and all sorts of things. I mean, they just, because you're working with your animal, I mean, you're working your camel, um, you're, you're walking them, you know, they've got the packs, they've got everything on top of them and all, or riders or whatever, um, and you're talking with them, you're actually giving reassurance mm. to the animal, okay? Um, if they trust you and you've developed that trust through a scheduled, um, you know, a, a sequential program. A structure. Yeah, a structure. Um, and, you, you, you know, the rewards have been there, the little rewards of your, your tone, your voice, your, your attitude. Um, and you're talking all the time. Mm. All the time. And, and so there's, there's a level of comfort mm. that the camel has when they know that you're around and you're okay. Mm. You know, you're okay to be around. You're nice, you're kind, you're, you're gentle. And those that you know, do already have camels, just try it if you're not already doing it. And those that are doing it, you already know that yeah. you know, it's effective and it, it works. It works. Um, but, you know, try it. Just, you don't have to say anything but you. Oh, you're huh? such a good little boy. Yeah, Look at you with Tell them you. about what happened yesterday Doesn't to you at matter. the office or... You know, it, it doesn't matter mm. at all. Yeah, no try What colour underwear are you wearing? Mm. You know, anything. Mm. Yeah, you know, just, you know, do you like this? Do you like that? Oh, oh, look at you. Oh, you're the pretty boy. Mm. All that stuff. I mean, it just helps. Mm -hmm. It just provides comfort. And that's happening with the second point mm -hmm. of taking them for walks mm. in new country, different places, okay? Obviously, when you're starting to take them for walks, you want to, you know, keep it short at first, mm -hmm. so, and then a, a familiar route. But then, when you're going, when they've developed that trust in you, and they trust you a bit confidence. further, and the confidence, and you're talking with them, etc., and you're walking them into new country, they actually get to enjoy that because they're always looking, especially if you allow them to go to the favourite trees and bushes and shrubs and herbs and stuff like that, and mm. let them have a bit of an eat. Yep. Take them for walks. That's definitely something they enjoy for sure. I mean, and that's actually part of our um, our courses. Yeah. I mean, that's that's day two and three. We're, we're right. walking them, yeah. um, making that an enjoyable process. You know, they have a nibble along the side of the roads wherever we're going and yeah. it just makes sense to their training. They're Absolutely. a very sensitive creature and um, – if you can break down the the layers between you and the camel, that is definitely one way to do it. Yeah. And a lot of people that go through it, well, all the people that go through our courses said that that's, that's the most amazing day. They're always amazed on how the camel just fully trusts them mm. in the process of walking, walking outside. Um, yeah, it's really satisfying for people. Yeah, which comes to the next point of time with you. Yes. Uh, um, so and the, the more the more you like the more you the many years that you spend with the camels, the more that they appreciate your time. Absolutely, and I remember uh, reading somewhere um, a camel trainer, a very a very good camel trainer in the states, um, uh, said uh, time and miles. Mm. Now, of course, we use kilometres here in Australia, but uh, you know whatever it is. But time and miles, um, talking with your camel, you know, taking for walks in new country, you know, let him have feed on their favourite bushes, all that sort of stuff. Well, they didn't say that. We said that. It all works. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It all works. Yeah. It's um, a really good point about the the time, spending time, because um, they are an incredibly sensitive creature and they really do want to get to know you. Mm. And you know this if you've been through some of our training, is that they are very, very curious um, and they get more curious as you, you go through the processes. Some camels can regress a little bit and they start to, you know, get not get less curious but just start to, you know, dig their dig their pads in, so to speak. <laughs> dig their pads in. Um, and, you know, they try to challenge you and things like that. But if you're consistent with the spending that time with them, mm -hmm. I think I think that's invaluable, really is. And that's a big part of our Camel Connection Trust-Based Camel Training is that time and how to translate that time 
into a trust building exercise. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Not very good. Um, another thing that you know camels do love uh, when they're ready for it is working. Yes. Uh, but within reason. I know. And, you know, I think this this could easily be debatable. And I'm oh, going to be the yeah. devil advocates here. That's because, why I said within reason. Because, you know, a lot of people go, oh, well, you know, a working animal, you know, I can't see how they can enjoy that. I mean, there's one thing for sure. And anybody who's been on a camel trek with us, mm-hmm. which, you know, we've got only a couple of left this year and we're, we're actually going to stop doing them commercially and do our own treks, is that they realise how much the camels enjoy human company and yeah. enjoy the whole process, and yeah. people are quite amazed by that. Yeah. And um, obviously, we've we've made it into an enjoyable thing for the camels yeah. um, through the training processes, and you know, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, just that point that they they look forward to it. They, they look do. forward to the work. They know their routine, which yeah. also helps. Oh, yeah. Because if they know their routine, they're going to they're going to enjoy it because they know what's coming next. Absolutely. But if the routine's being switched up all the time, then it's likely, you know, they won't enjoy it as much. Yeah. Um but just that simple fact is, yeah, it's work in a sense that they're carrying packs that are, you know, barely they could feel properly. As we're a bit <laughs> we're a bit soft on them. Yeah, yeah. Um but, yeah, they're enjoying their work. Mm. And even when it comes to the beach rides, they like being around us, they trust being around us, yep. and we make that work enjoyable for them Absolutely. by talking and spending time with them and, Absolutely. you know, keeping that consistent routine of of how we treat them, basically. Oh, that's right. I mean, you know, you think about something like a riding operation, like you know, what we do on the beach... Um, and there's all these people and they don't know how to approach a camel. They mm. don't know, you know, all these things. So it is that talking with the camels all the time and reassuring and I, I must look like a bleeding lunatic, you know, to, <laughs> to people coming on the, on the, onto the beach you know, for their camel ride. But, you know what, I, I don't care what I look like um, uh, to, in that respect. I, I want to make sure that those camels are reassured um, that they're appreciated mm. and uh, and that they're loved. They know they're loved. And so, um, you know, it is enjoyable for them. Mm-hmm. It's got to be. It's got to be. Absolutely. There's no other way around it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely that time with you. Look, I've only got one more for today. Well, um, that's five. That's a lot. That's a, that's a lot, it's... yeah. Um, uh, this one's a bit of a funny one. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> what, that it's funny? Well, uh, I've already read it, so I already know what yeah, it is. Yeah, I know, but it's a bit bit strange. It is it is a bit weird, but you are but weird. But there's a reason for it, okay? <laughs> there is a reason for it. One thing that I've noticed that the camels love doing, and they feel so proud when they do this, and and it's like, hmm, look at me. Aren't I majestic? Aren't I just wonderful? Aren't I just... Look at me again. No, you're not looking at me. I am fantastic. I am wonderful. This Somebody thing, take a picture already. Yeah, take pictures. Here Put them on Facebook. I'll look over here. I'll look over there. Yes, and over there, the camera, smile. I'm smiling. This is my smile. The one thing that I've noticed that camels really enjoy doing is getting dressed up. Yeah. All right? Now, I'm not getting, meaning getting dressed up like Mickey Mouse. Uh, I'm only getting dressed up in all the beautiful colours and, uh, and the decorations that uh, over many centuries, I'm sure, you know, places like India or um, all, all sorts of places around the world where they've got all the beautiful camel jewellery and the blankets and the embroidered mm. blankets and you know, just stuff. I mean, they've been fussed over to start with by getting all this stuff put on They them. do like that. And they love it. Yeah. They Love it. And I also like to add um, within that one is grooming. Yeah. You know, because they yeah. love being groomed and they feel similar. But yeah. there's definitely something strange about the camel when they're dressed up on how proud they seem. Oh, they just <laughs> know that, you know, this is it. You know, mm. this is what they love doing. And like our friend over there in um, in India who, who makes and sells um, the camel jewellery as well, like that when dressed up those camels um, in India there and those camels were pretty green yes um, to start with and then uh, they um, certainly were track ready mm. um, and and then you know getting all dressed up after day whatever it was five mm. or whatever that we'd been working with them 
Um, but they felt great. Mm. You could tell there was just a difference in their approach to everything. And it's a good desensitising process too, as well as um, grooming. You know, desensitising the camel through this process and um, getting them used to flapping things and uh. strange things on their back or, uh. you, you know, you touching them all over and the grooming. I mean, I know some camels that have just... It's taken a long time just to be able to groom all around their body, you know, just because yep. of how sensitive – without standing up, you know, without – because this is the challenge, guys. Like if you've got a camel and you're working, you know, with it training and handling, try and groom your camel all around its body while it's sitting down, you know. And depending on the camel personality, a lot of – will stand up and then you'll have to sit them down again and that's yep. a whole training session in itself. That's right. Um, but, yeah, it's it's a desensitization. Desensitization. Yeah, that yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, they, and they know, feel good. That's, too. A, that's it. And, uh, and getting back to that desensitisation, I mean, you know, this is something that's really important. I mean, you know, you've got to be able to feel your camels all over them, mm. and they've got to be able to say, oh, you know, it's okay. You can do that. Mm. And if you don't get the kick out and all that sort of stuff, I mean, you know, then your camel is you know, situations can. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, situations You're can occur, risk. which yeah. uh, no one wants. No one wants. So th- that's all I've got. So that's our plug is for get some jewellery. Get some jewellery. Look, yeah. you know, and I, look, I know there's heaps of sources around the place, but mm. I have seen Nathan's stuff over but there. But do play awesome. all the precautions too, you know, on, on making sure that you don't just try to chuck a blanket on and no. just expect that no. to happen. It's you know, a training make, session in itself. It's a trust building. But, you know, if you're already sort of one of those students of ours that have gone through the processes and want to try something a bit different, you know, that could be one of the next steps. And, of course, it's fun to collect camel jewellery. We've got way too much. And <laughs> Russell insists we keep getting more, and I'm like, oh, no, yeah. we've got way too much. Oh, yeah, um, flammable. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a minimalist, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm quite the opposite, yeah. Um, yeah, but there you go. So shall we run through those tips okay. again? so number one was talking with your camel. So these are the five... Was it five enjoyable? Five, five enjoyable things your camel will love. Yeah. Okay, so number one, talking with your camel. Talk, 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 talk. Gabble, gabble, gabble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And, the, and they like it Sing when it's songs. really low and they like it when it's even whispering. Sing. They like it oh, when you're telling them secrets. secrets. That's right. Oh, secrets are big. Mm. Yeah. And singing. And you know, if you missed out on the camel whispering episode, go back and look at that. Yeah. I think it's number 34. Okay. Um, Come on, we're already up to 34. No, this is not 34. This is like 30 something else. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And singing. I keep saying singing. Yeah. Right? They do enjoy singing. Oh, I notice. They don't big, care how shit your voice is. <laughs> I notice how big boys love that Gypsy Rover song. Yeah. You know, the one that goes, Gypsy Rover came over the hill. Yeah. Down through the valley. The only thing I wouldn't torture the camels with is whistling. <laughs> Which I've told you, you're not so good at whistling. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're good oh, here. Okay, All right. Okay. So that's number one anyway. Uh, so, yeah, talk with your camel. It's really, I mean, it's just being mates, isn't it, really, at the end of the day? Um, number two was uh, walking in new country. Well, just walking, but... Um, you know, if you can get to new countries. It's very stimulating for them yep. and they like it. I mean, camels, you know, if you if they've, well, they have been tracked in the wild and researched and they will up, walk up to 50 kilometres a day just foraging for food and water. Yep. So, you know, this is in their natural behaviour. Right. You know, we talked about this also in um, Camel Toys, I think, the Camel Toys episode that we did um, uh, yeah. a good year ago, how, yeah. you know... Going back to the natural behaviours of camels and yeah. why they don't need toys is because this is their natural behaviours and one of those is walking. They yeah. enjoy a walk. Don't forget, they're looking for a leader. Yeah. All right, and you are it. Mm. You are it. So what sort of camel are you going to be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three on our list is time with you. Mm-hmm. All right, just spending time with you and, you know, getting to know you. That's what the camel wants. It wants to know you. They do. All right, they really do. Working the camel is the next point. Yep. All right, so, yeah, just yeah, time and miles. And if you've gone whatever. through, you know, our training, the Camel Connection Trust-Based Camel Training, your camel is learning to enjoy your company, um, you know, and, and some get it really quickly and others spend a little bit more time, you know, learning to trust you and it yeah. just depends on the personality. But all in all... 
all this training, the trust-based camel training, leads to them enjoying being around you, hence even working with you. Yeah. Not for you, with you. No, that's right. And the final one is getting dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. And, of course, we've mentioned Nisa, so I have to uh, do that. that is, uh, well, John Law's a radio announcer. He has to do that. When he was working, he had to do that uh, if you mentioned Toyota or any of his other sponsors. But Nisa's not a sponsor, but we love his, love his blankets. Oh, I okay. have no idea. <laughs> Didn't you know that? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. but it's just too. I had to. Oh, they went through a court case and all sorts of things. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh okay. It's just like, hey guys, we're going to plug somebody, right. and here's a glass cleaner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. Okay. Just for fun. So that was random. <laughs> oh, very oh, well. That's who I am. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in again. We can't wait to share the next episode with you. And as always, keep on camel connecting. Absolutely. And if you get a chance, check into this anatone stuff that I mentioned at the beginning. Yeah. Well, right. better still, get our ebook because that explains all about it and yeah. how to get it, hold of it. And if you're already a student of ours, obviously you can ask in our Camelier Academy membership. Yep. site so right. it's not a problem very good okay okay take care guys and keep on camel connecting yeah see you later bye, bye. If you like this information we've just shared with you, you'll be sure to love the free camel ebooks and training videos that we're giving away. We're giving away two camel ebooks, Introduction to Camels and Introduction to Camel Training. Plus, in our bonus camel training videos, we take you through training and handling camels built on connection and trust. And we also share how to understand a camel's way of thinking. This is gold information that you don't want to miss. So be sure to sign up now to get your free ebooks and training videos over at camelconnection.com.